what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here karibu sana my name is doris i enjoy making some videos on bullet journaling some hair videos some cooking videos and some sit downs like the one today so i know it is <clears throat> 20 quite uh, it is the world breastfeeding week and who knew i was weaning my child off breast milk in the same kind of period but i'm sure when this video goes live it's going to have passed so i just want to share with you how or what i did in order to uh softly um ensure that my son has stopped breastfeeding quite sweetie The background story is that I had to win my firstborn uh, cold turkey from breastfeeding and it broke my heart because I was pregnant with our second son and I couldn't handle breastfeeding him and uh, keeping up with the growth of the other baby. And it really broke my heart, but I had to do it uh, for the sake of the sanity of everyone. But once I got uh, my second son, I decided that I was going to breastfeed him for as long as I could, or at least for two years. So that's where he is now two and one month. <laughs> and once I approached that period when I wanted to now wean him off, uh, like a week before his birthday, I started getting so emotional, I could not believe that I was going to wean him off the milk. I think I was also, it was my way of bonding him with, with Kim much better. And I could say we have a really cool relationship, him and I. So it was tough. It was tough to, let, uh, to think that I would let that go, but I had to eventually. So... It happened like an accident. Uh, one morning we woke up and I was super busy doing some work that I had promised uh, their auntie. And once they woke up, I just had breakfast ready and had it on the table. And I just set them at the table and they ate. So that gave me time to continue with the work that I was doing. And then voila, before we knew it, <laughs> it was midday and they had lunch. Once they had lunch, we were traveling somewhere, so uh, he slept on the way and he did, he did not wake up until much later in the afternoon, which was a plus, so, and he wasn't cranky or anything, so he hasn't, uh, he didn't breastfeed for almost, I don't know, a few hours. And then once we came back home, because he was too tired and he had so much fun wherever we were, he just knocked out. So, <laughs> Tony, quiet, quiet, please, queen, daddy. So I took him to bed and he slept all through. And that evening I was like, Eureka, <laughs> we have managed to go a full day without him nursing. So I thought, um, why not start today? So the next day I decided that once he woke up, we're not going to have any breast milk. And I had... Uh, breakfast ready for them and he ate and when he came to you know I think he remembered that when mommy's free I gotta have some milk so he came and I was like uh -uh, no baby just cradled him and continued with the day he was a bit cranky at that and upset but somehow he he got to forget because he has playtime with his bigger brother or older brother so once it was nap time, that's when I decided to feed him in order for him to go to sleep. So I decided, I decided all this on the go. I decided that I would only breastfeed him once he's going to bed. And that's what I did. The first day, uh, the afternoon went well. In the evening as well, he, he wanted to nurse, but I did not give it to him. Once we went to bed, I nursed him and went to bed. And that was our first week. It was kind of a way to show him that now you are transitioning to, <laughs> to not having milk. So the second week, I decided that I'm going to cut it off completely. And this was scary for me because he was really dependent on it. And I was also dependent on it. And, you know, when he's upset, that, that is a very quick fix to, like, quiet him down. So I was a bit apprehensive about the week, but I was like, let's do this. 
man the first day he was really not having it and especially during his naps he really cried he was upset with me and i spent a long time just patting him at his bottom and shushing him until he went to sleep uh, and that was the same uh for the nighttime bed bedtime so um he was upset but we went through it the second day things turned a little bit on me now because now i was having this engorged uh breasts because all the milk was there and it was really painful <laughs> and i was tempted to actually feed him and him he was like i'm he really did want to breastfeed too i could see it in his puppy eyes i could see him come and sit and change positions probably he could also feel that i needed a release but somehow we pulled through day two and then the other thing that happened he, and then another thing and then another thing that happened i just told him like i pick at his thumb and want to to suck at it and i was really scared and i was really scared that he was going to start uh, sucking his thumb but he didn't the other thing was i still had to pat him on his bottom so that he could sleep but we made it through oh my goodness someone is awake so i gotta finish up with this video pretty fast and attend to him so we are now at week three and he does not remember at all i can hold him and he's fine and i guess we are done with breastfeed breastfeeding so you know it was it has been an experience to breastfeed him and his brother and especially in public it was like you know what i just had to do it because it is the fastest and easiest way to feed them you know what they say that breast milk is the best for baby and it is also good for mommy and we are encouraged to breastfeed uh, six months exclusively and if you're able to do that please do that but if you're unable to do that because of some issues that are Apply, uh, come you know there's some people who can't actually do this and it is something they would really love don't feel stressed out whatever method that works for you for you and your baby to ensure that you both are wholesome and healthy and happy do that because we are not all the same and we are gifted differently and do not be upset it's just like you know uh, once the baby's fed and you are alright, that is what matters. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how I weaned my two-year-old off breast milk. And in three weeks, actually it's like two weeks because the third week he was totally fine. Um, give me a like, comment down below what your experiences are. And also subscribe to my channel and be part of my little community. I'll see you next time. Bisous. Bye.